don't do ain't no concern of yours. At least oh, I still give a you. damn about this gang. You don't give a damn about nothing but yourself. You know, Mike is one of the well, at least you ain't run off. Mike runs is his mouth. What you talking about? Pearson left. Old uncle. The traitors. Both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn <clears throat> cowards. Arthur, cowards. Of all the time we spent to run off. Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna. <coughs> this is a tough time. And you ain't you ain't doing too well. But we, our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack and the women free, well then there maybe ain't we no can freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more That's train. always a goddamn train. Arthur, <coughs> this is different. We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all going to plan we rob uncle sam and we leave <laughs> the poetry of it all what do you think it sounds wonderful hell i ain't got much to lose but you gotta do what's right and cut some loose john and his family I I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. Insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best, I will see to it. Huh? Now. We gonna rob a train? Sure. We will survive. We will flourish. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists upon it. He insists. Let's ride out, gentlemen. Let's go! Yeah! Halfway along. John, you and Arthur are gonna board at the back. Rest of you, follow Mike and I and join once they stop the train. Here she comes. Should I just sneak on now? God damn it. Well. Everybody mount up! We're still going through with this? Of course we are! <laughs> Come on, Arthur! We gotta get on that train! We can jump on it inside!
goddamn map! On left! Watch your right! Move. Where's John? I tried. I tried. He didn't make it. That patrol killed him. We had to run. Come on, let's go. Before another patrol turns up. We gotta let her go. John's, uh, well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. Got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. we just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice, Dutch. It's just a girl. You're right. Uh, Micah, uh, it pains me to say it, Arthur. But he is right. Touch! Come on, boys. Yeah! Well, I guess that's that, then. All them goddamn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. 
You and me is all we need. Miss Tilly. Here. Take this. <clears throat> you take this money, too. Take Jack, and you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. But just get out of here and go live your life. This is done. All right, Arthur. I'll... I'll miss... Nah. Nah, don't start with all that. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Mrs. Adler! Ride with me! Yeah! Yeah!